Hello and welcome to Dog World, where I teach you everything you need to know about dogs. Today, I talk about one of the most popular toy dog breeds, the Maltese. And divided into 8 topics, I teach you the most important information so you can decide if this breed is the one you are looking for. Number 1. Origin the Maltese can be traced back over 28 centuries and it is an ancient breed of the island of Malta in the Mediterranean. This dog breed can be found on ancient Greek pottery and was mentioned by the philosopher Aristotle. It has been known to be a prized companion of royalty over the years. Unlike many small breeds, the Maltese was not bred down from larger sizes. It has always been a very small dog. The number of Maltese dogs registered with the AKC grew very slowly until the 1950s. Since then, the breed has become quite popular. Maltese are now one of the most popular breeds among spectators at dog shows and frequently win the toy group. Number 2. Personality Maltese can be very vigilant and noisy guard dogs as they are constantly interested in what is going on in their environment and are quick to communicate with their owners. They are often described as being fearless and are certainly not aware of their small stature when attempting to deter intruders. This tendency to be vocal can be also a problem, particularly if the dog is ignored or left alone for long periods, for example in a garden. But Maltese are typically good-natured and amiable and love to be held and cuddled. They most often will establish a close bond with one person and do not do well when left alone for extended periods of time. Number 3. Appearance Maltese have an alert, gentle expression. Their eyes are round and dark and convey a suggestion of mischievousness. The head is stoned, although unlike many other small breeds, they should have a muzzle of a reasonable length ending in a neat bite without any suggestion of an under or overbite. The ears are small and dropped, and the hair on the ears is sometimes slightly wavy. Although they have a black nose, it is seen to lighten in many Maltese during the winter months, darkening again with exposure to sunlight. Maltese dogs can grow up to 10 inches, which is 25 centimeters, and weigh up to 7 pounds, which is 3 kilograms. Number 4. Trainability Maltese are very intelligent, and in centuries of being companions to humans, they have learned how to get exactly what they want from their people. It is important to be consistent with their training. Maltese are athletic, talented, and make a fun choice as competitive companion in dog sports such as obedience or agility. They can be stubborn and determined, but they respond well to positive training methods whether verbal or in the form of a treat. By breaking training into small, regular sessions, it is usually possible to get the best results from these playful individuals. They do not like to wander far from their owners and lead training and off the lead recall are generally easy to master. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment this is a very playful breed, and although they do not require copious amounts of exercise, love to chase feet and toys around the house. Keeping a ball or other toy to hand is a great idea, as Maltese enjoy the interaction provided by simple games of fetch or tug of war. Although they may be very active around the house, lead walks totaling 30 minutes per day will suffice for most dogs. As well as being a useful form of exercise, these lead walks help cement a valuable bond between pet and owner. Number 6. Best Home Most Maltese breeders will not sell puppies to families with young children. It's just too easy for a toddler to injure a tiny Maltese by dropping him, stepping on him or holding him too tightly. He does much better in a home with quiet older children or adults only who will treat him with the care he needs. Maltese can get along with other dogs and cats if they are socialized to them at an early age. They are unaware of their tiny size, however, and must be protected from taking on dogs that are 10 or 20 times their size. Number 7. Health 
These little dogs often live long and happy lives, living for between 12 and 15 years of age. Unfortunately, like many purebred dogs, they do suffer from several health-related conditions. Some issues are patella luxation, progressive retinal atrophy and reverse sneezing. To keep their overall health high, you should take them on a regular walk, but wait until they are 8 months old to walk very far with them, because their bones are still developing. Maltese are house dogs and don't tolerate extreme heat or cold well. Many people paper train their Maltese so they don't have to take them outdoors when the weather is too hot or cold. Also trim their nails once a month and check their ears every week. Number 8. Costs The cost to buy a Maltese varies greatly and depends on many factors such as the breeder's reputation, the litter size, lineage of the puppy and breed line quality. The average price for a Maltese puppy will be somewhere around $1100. And if you are looking for a specific look or a puppy with highest quality and even show quality, you can budget anywhere between $4300 and $10,000. Before buying a puppy, it is important to understand the associated costs of owning a dog. The annual cost or upkeep is often overlooked when determining a Maltese true ownership cost. When calculating your budget, make sure you account for the price of food, wet bills, vaccines, grooming and much more. All of this can add up quickly and will cost you up to $1000 per year. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should definitely check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.